Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm doing an All My Dolls video, so we're gonna creepily zoom in on her eyes. This is my first doll, and this is Allison May Forrester. She's a Just Like You number 39, and I got her for Christmas 2009 from my grandparents. She's supposed to be my lookalike, so she has the same personality as me. She likes to read, she likes to run. My second doll, this is Zoe Taylor Winter. She's a Journey Girl Kelsey, I think, and I got her for Christmas 2014 from my aunt and my uncle and she is the artist of the family. This is my third doll, this is Jocelyn Diana Wells, and she is a Just Like You 53 that I got, well, my AG 53 that I got for Christmas 2014. My parents, she's from eBay. She's slightly customized because I did dye her hair with, and it's kind of like a pinky red. So that's that. And I definitely recommend her, she's a good starter doll. And my, family she is a sort of shy quiet one she plays volleyball and guitar all that i ha still have in my current collection i had a lot of springfield and our generation dolls but they've been customized or i've given them away um this is grace lynn ann marie thomas she's a girl's year 2015 grace doll i got her on my birthday june 25th at the american girl place and she was a good birthday present from my mom and dad. And I just sort of kept her personality the same from her books. She loves baking and she's kind of a diva. And I love her outfit. Everett Ryan Forrester, he's Allie's cousin and he's a creation that I customized into a boy. I originally got him for my birthday in 2014 and I customized him into a boy um, a couple days after I had gotten Grace. So he had cut hair and he has like more defined eyebrows and it has trouble standing and he's just like your typical boy he loves sports and does that sort of thing my next doll this is easton carter phillips and i customized him around thanksgiving of 2015 and he was another our generation doll that i had had and decided that i wanted him to be a boy so once again i cut his hair and stuff and he's sort of a quiet one he is focuses more on the academics in school and isn't a huge fan of sports. In 15 I got a lot of dolls for Christmas and many of them have since been customized or sold but I'm still really thankful for all of them that I got. This was the first one and this is a Caroline Abbott doll but in my collection I renamed her to Geraldine Elizabeth Abbott and I got her on December 18th from my great grandma. She was a Caroline from Costco, and I was really not expecting to get her because we don't have a Costco membership, at least not at the time. And she goes by Jerry. She really loves boats and the water and swimming, and she's also very outspoken and outgoing. Also has is slightly customized because I just trimmed her hair. It's a Mary Parkington, and she is a Pleasant Company Samantha that I got for Christmas along with three other dolls um, from eBay, obviously from my parents for Christmas and she's the only one that didn't get sold or customized into a boy because I've always just really loved Samantha and I think she's a really beautiful doll. I did tighten her limbs but they're still pretty loose and when I got her her limbs were like about to fall out so anything was an improvement. So that's why she's in a wheelchair but I just say that she was born like that and I think it adds a lot of diversity to my collection. And Samantha is she loves taking photos, especially outdoor photos and also like vintage photos. And she really likes history and stuff. So that's Samantha. And she just she doesn't go by Sam, she just goes by Samantha. Next doll is Genevieve Leanne Clark, and she's a Leah Clark girl of the year 2016 that I got at the American Girl Place on January 2nd. And I bought her with my own money after seeing stock photos of her online and just thinking she was absolutely gorgeous and i don't regret it at all I, she's one of my favorite dolls she's so photogenic and if you can find her for a good price i definitely recommend getting her her hair is also really fun to style and i styled it a lot over the years so that it doesn't really have as much curl as it used to so i just need to put it in curlers or something but i love her she does go by jenna and jenna is very similar to her book personality she loves the outdoors and she loves to go hiking and run cross country and she really hates to be inside. She would always rather be outside doing something. It's Adeline Eileen Walker and I got her at the American Girl Place around late February early, um, of 2016 after I thought that she was retiring, although she clearly is not retired yet. 
she's a, obviously gonna be a forever Addy, and I just really liked Addy. I really liked the Addy face mold, so I wanted to get an Addy mold, and I got Addy. She does go by Addy most of the time, and she is a diva, so, and she loves beauty and hair and makeup, and she loves to do her sister's hair and also her own. She always has it in braids or buns, just some sort of new style, and she would like if one of my dolls had an instagram she would definitely be the one who has it because that's just like what she likes to do it's alexander philip rivers and i customized him originally around around 2016 Ooh, okay oh oh buddy boy recently changed his wig but i considered him that same custom so i have him in this place in line because i didn't change his name or anything originally he was a girl but i very shortly after I changed him into a boy, Alexander, and he was like Alexander Hamilton, I guess they would be similar in personality, so very self-destructive, and he's dating my doll, Jerry, and he was my first American Girl Boy doll, and I, I really like him. Amelia Okuna Sue, she is a truly me 30, I want to say. And I got her at the American Girl Place around early March 2017. She was a gift from my grandma. And uh, shortly after she retired, I didn't even know she was retiring. I just wanted a Jess mold and I still really like her. She has kind of wonky eyes, but I picked her out in person, so it's really my own fault. Um, and she's a gymnast of the family. She loves gymnastics and she also likes to read. She also, well, I guess she's just sort of like the sports person. She just really likes sports except it's in complete contradiction to her outfit she's like very dressed up right now but love her an iconic queen angelica skylar merriman she's a beef forever felicity that i got for my birthday in 2017 i ordered her with my own like with my birthday money i had gotten and i was originally supposed to get her at the american Girl place chicago because we we're gonna go there in october and she they flagship stores have her but i couldn't wait so i just bought her in june and i prefer the be forever felicity to the historical one so i'm really glad i got the be forever one she's my historical loving doll she loves to wear vintage as you can kind of see she's just pretty vintage and she's also very interested in hamilton it's Elizabeth Diane Carriage, and she's a Be Forever kit that I got at the American Girl Place Chicago for my birthday. Well, she was a birthday present, but we went in October. My birthday's in June when we went to Chicago to see Hamilton. Because I used to always really want Kit, and I just was like, I still want her, so I'll get her. And she is the youngest in the family. She's kind of like the baby of the family, but she still really loves to dance. That's one of her favorite sports is margaret annalise gardner she goes by margaret <laughs> um and, or margo and she is a marie grace that i got off ebay for 50 dollars family she really likes to help her sibling or not her siblings her roommates and she doesn't like to see anyone upset she also really loves board games is eleanor mary kapoor she's a truly me 62 that i got at the american girl place this year for my birthday she really loves science and she wants to be a doctor when she's older so she's like the medical one of the family i think she's really cute james jonathan geraldson and he's a custom boy doll that i made just a couple of weeks ago he's from a doll that i he's from like i think he's from a Gwen, so i probably shouldn't have customized him but oh well and i got him the same christmas i got samantha and then this is a cut girl's wig I got and he has custom-ish face and he's really cute. Cute. Uh, and he's like, the, you know, he like is the cool hip boy of the family. And yes, his he has, his name will start with Jace because I thought it'd be cool. Anyway, it is Windsor Christine Abbott. She goes by Winnie and she's a custom that I got um, on a trade with someone from Instagram. Their handle's on the screen. I think she's like a custom like a Trillium 53, she has Caroline eyes, custom face, and a, a Trillium wig. I can't remember which doll number it is, but it's a dress mold, and she loves to sing and act, and all those fun things. And she's 